News, an I-Team investigation into how schools are spending your taxpayer dollars. Good morning, 6.30 a.m. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rachel McNeil. And I'm Joe Dana. Never before have Arizona schools received so much money at once from the federal government. The COVID relief funds are meant to help students close learning gaps. I took a closer look at how schools are spending it. While 20% of the money must be used to address learning setbacks, the rest can be spent on nearly any cost that school officials deem reasonable and necessary. Joseph, I'm glad to see you today. The start of a new school day, something Principal Yvette Rodriguez does not take for granted. If it wasn't for the COVID funding, we probably would have closed. The Phoenix International Academy is a small public charter school that launched in 2019, just before the pandemic hit. The school is on track to get $10,700 per student of COVID aid, more than twice the Arizona average. Why so much? It serves nearly all low-income students, a key indicator for how much a school gets. Expenses include testing of students, but the biggest expense, transportation. More than 95% of our students are transported by us to the school. That cost doubled during the pandemic. A fleet of vans replaced two school buses because the school makes social distancing a priority. An analysis of how schools spend COVID funds shows every charter and district is unique, depending on what they consider important. The amount they get is immense. Data collected by the Associated Press shows nationally $156 billion going to schools, averaging $2,800 per pupil. In Arizona, it breaks down to $3.6 billion, with the average amount per pupil at just under $4,000. The state's largest district, Mesa Public Schools, is near the state average at $3,900 per student. Where's that money going? The district's largest expenditure is $75 million on air quality improvements. Millions more are going to summer school. And there's a $3 million investment in music programs. Part of ESSER is you reach out to your stakeholders and say what's important to you. Loud and clear, we heard from them that music was really high on their list. With so much money flowing to schools, how do we know it won't be misspent? Allegations of fraud by school employees are not uncommon. But it's a moral and ethical responsibility to make the best use of these resources. Mark Jornstad represents school leaders around the state. He says there's a built-in system to prevent fraud with COVID funds. In addition, there's extensive reporting to the federal government and to the Arizona Department of Education. As for Rodriguez, she says she welcomes the scrutiny at her school. It has been our number one goal to have our students in school learning in a safe way this entire time. And it is incredibly costly to do so. The Arizona Auditor General will also have a hand in holding schools accountable, auditing charter schools and districts with power to recommend criminal investigations if there is evidence of wrongdoing. And if you have a story idea you want the I-Team to look into, you can reach to us, connect at 12news.com or on our Facebook and Twitter pages as well.